Crypto Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at and yet another, another interesting version of a trailer. This time for Thor Ragnarok. Well, we've done it like again. Uh, yeah, another another Thor Ragnarok to pretty much type of iteration that somebody wanted. To this do. one comes to us from the Nerdist. Yes. And this one is done in a style of a 1987. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, a 1987. 1987. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, <laughs> it's messing with you. A 1987 trailer. Yes. So, let's check it out. Let's just dive right on into this, because we know pretty much it looks like it's something from the 80s, as it is pretty much, so let's just take a look to see how it'll probably be set up, because most likely they nailed it right on the wood. So, here we go. <laughs> First, he brought the thunder in Thor. They used to do that in the East. In Thor 2, the dark world. Hammer time. Now, he's back to Ragnarok and roll. Ragnarok and roll. Thor 3, Ragnarok. Thor, the mighty god of thunder, is <laughs> back in his greatest adventure yet. But this time, he's not the only god in town. Be glad to see me. Hela, the goddess with the power of death, is here to destroy Thor's home. Asgard is dead. Now, the galaxy's only hope is Thor, but without his help, he'll need a little help. So they're putting together a team. Now, old enemies will become new allies. This will be such fun. And old allies will become best friends. Oh, God. Is excitement. See, <laughs> and excitement. Oh my. Marvel Entertainment Partners, in association with Kevin Feige, present. Christopher Hemsworth as Thor. Got him, Thunder. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo as Alan the Ruffalo. Incredible Hulk. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie. With Kate Blanchett as Hela, the goddess of death. And a special appearance by Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master. <laughs> I like it, they taste seven Jeff Goldblum. Three times. Ragnarok. Motion picture. Oh my god. It had every way you can imagine of how the trailers were back in the day. Thor. And there's always a number after it. Back Thor there 3. Was, there was always a number after it. Number after it, but also at the end where they're like, the motion picture. Like, we don't know it's a, it's a, it's a film, you know? It's like the motion oh picture. Oh my gosh, everything. It nailed everything that you would see in the, actual The bad footage, piece. the cheesy 80s effects, the use of Lou Fregno as the Incredible Hulk. The voiceover guy was just, that's how over-exaggerated he would get, you know? He was like, he was a, it, it was a, in the first Thor, he brought the thunder. And in the second, in the second he one. Put the he put down the hammer. He put down the hammer. And in the third one, it's like, what the fuck? It's like, it just nails the way 80s trailers were. Oh my god. They were like that. They were so over-exaggerative. They were always adding in, like, just a lot of the, 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 that type of stuff, you know? It's just And they just had to, um, they just had to add the, um, uh, Jeff Goldblum. Not, not what Jeff Goldblum looks like in the movie, just 80s, J 80s J Jeff Goldblum. J what he would look like, yeah, exactly. And it's just... It's just hit everything, and Nerdist just got it right. Yeah. Nerdist is awesome. I follow them, and they do a kick-ass job, pretty much. They did an awesome job for this. This is phenomenal. I just, it just don't worry, because it, it hits what you get from any, you watch any type of 80s trailer for any movie back that came out, and it's almost identical to what this was. Yeah. You know, so I, I really, this is awesome. This is, this is kick-ass. I don't mean... A lot of people, are, the only reason people are doing this, uh, you know, making their own or something like that, because that's what it looks like. It's something that yeah. you get from, you know, something back in the day. That's what it gives you, that feels you have. So, oh right. man, I can't wait for it. I just want this film to come out already, because right now this is just awesome. That was just amazing. 
Um, but other than that, though, uh, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about how 80s this trailer was, hit the subscribe button down below or at the end of this video. And again, just let us know what you thought. Um, I know everyone's excited for the Thor film, but what do you think of what their interpretation of the uh, was it 80s style, pretty much, of Thor Ragnarok? Or, yeah. Thor, or like they, they like to call it Thor 3 Ragnarok. You know? <laughs> you know, let us know what you thought. I mean, I thought it was awesome. Uh, anything you loved, how, how they did it, just let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Definitely comment down to let us know what you thought of our reaction as well. Yeah, so until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And that was definitely a very 80s filled episode of SRB. See ya! Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.